everyone. In tonight's video I'm going to tie this caddis and I'm going to show you a couple of things which I think are pretty important. Uh, one of them being reverse jam hitch, how to start to fly. It's very unconventional way but very useful if you may. And the other one is how to make this nice head and to use this head to secure the wing. As you can see it's secured just beneath the head and it's as you can see pretty sturdy. Now without any further ado let's go. Uh, put any dry fly hook in the vise. I'm using Tianco 900 BL. That's what I like. Uh, I'm using thread that can be flattened. In this case it's UTC uh, 70 denier in olive color. Light olive actually. Uh, reverse jam hitch is useful because I don't want to create too much bulk and I'm going to go back and forth with my material. So place the thread to your near side and then with non-bobbin hand go around the hook and make a loop and then just continue wrapping as you would actually wrap. And now as you can see I can release this tag and it won't unravel. What I do uh, like and I learned this from Global Fly Fisher's site, this is uh, Wayne L Allen Wayne Llewellyn's tip. Actually, he has many tips over there, so go there and check out. So I'm I'm actually creating less bulk with this way, and it's not not only suitable for this fly, but for any other flies as, that you prefer to tie those materials as I am tying it right now. I made this too complicated. Sorry for this. You will understand why. So instead of cr starting the fly here going backwards then catching this material and going to the eye and then because I need dubbing I need to go backwards with my uh, thread and then cover it with dubbing I'm actually saving one thread layer like this so I'm going to catch this over here with two or three wraps this is secured and pull make it thinner and then go backwards in touching wraps if you can use flat thread for that because it creates less bulk and to flatten the thread as we said you want to put counter clockwise twist and then this should be good yeah now cut this part by an angle Okay, this should be good. Yes, it is. Now, I want to add some dubbing here first. It's a rabbit's, dub, uh, rabbit's fur, which I mixed with uh, ice dubbing from Royal CC's Chinese. I think you can find it on AliExpress or somewhere. Not sure. I buy it here directly in China. Now, in a clockwise direction, dub your thread with the uh, dubbing because it will tighten even more but don't do it too tight because you want those you want those hairs to stick out and suggest legs to make this caddis a little bit buggier and it's very desirable to have some guard hairs in it because they will stick out more and they will look even buggier than just under fur which is not so uh, buggy if you ask me just under fur is not enough so I'm going forward. Now, when I reach almost the end of the fly, I'm gonna stop. Let me see, I can do maybe one or two more. Yeah, this should be plenty. Okay, like so. Remove the excess dubbing. I'll pull all those hairs out. Counter spin the thread to flatten it because I need thread foundation here for my wings. Now let me see which way bobbin goes. Okay. So thread foundation over the hook and then go backwards. Now I'm going to use white tail deer for the wings. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm going to remove the under fur first and maybe some hairs if I think it's too much which I, which I think it is so this is what I ended up with yeah. stack the hair and removing the under fur actually allows you to stack the hair better under fur connects interlocks the hair so by removing it you make your job easier here to stack the hair properly and I'm gonna align those white tips with the end of the tag which I didn't cut so I'll try to do it now with wrong fingers done good so as I was saying I'm gonna align those white ends with the tag so those black ones are not so visible and not important I'm gonna cut the hair by an angle like so not so abrupt though because if you cut it by an angle it will allow you to make neater head so don't align buttons with the eye like so go a little bit back and then push down everything like so and go with the counter spin the thread so it will lay into your fingers and then just go around with your thread two reps and then pull upwards and compress the hair as you can see it flares up pull uh, sorry press with your index finger and your thumb firmly so you can hold those hair the, the hair on the top of the hook shank and then just advance forward and now by actually cutting the hair in a, by an angle you're allowing yourself to create nice and tapered head over here so so I'm gonna just back off here because I want to catch a little bit more of these hairs and I'm gonna as I make a wrap, uh, wrap I'm gonna pull up wrap pull up wrap pull up wrap pull up and when I reach the hook eye I can go back because I want to make a web finish and make a web finish with a flat thread creates less bulk uh, those thread wraps are gonna align uh, more nicely and they're gonna be more secure and also they will cover up those butt ends if there are any left now let's see what we have done as you can see no buttons sticking out nice small head and nice caddis now pull those hairs and you will see you move the hook but you don't pull out the hair so it's well secured so guys i hope you like this video if you like it please share it subscribe and see you next week